Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a penalty corner variation. Some of you call it the turn, some of you call it whatever you want, but what it comes down to is we're going to try and beat the first runner by looping the ball and it looks like this. So sometimes when we're trying to drag flick, the first runner is just simply very good and running a very tight line. So what you can do to try and get out of the runner's way is to try and go to the left or to the right of them. In this case, we're going to the left and going to try and use a turn to try and uh, beat the runner and let your teammate finish the job off. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the runner think that we're drag flicking, but at the last moment, we're going to turn the ball and lay it off to your teammate. So the first part to this uh, turn technique is the same as if you're just drag flicking. So you're standing behind the ball as if you're about to drag flick. And then your first position is the same as always. You're putting your left foot near the ball. The difference is, however, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get a little bit lower, get the ball in the hook of the stick. Then step two is take the ball forward. And at the last moment, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and turn the ball and turn our body and try and position the ball just to the left of the line of the runner. So the most difficult part of this technique is to try and make sure the ball doesn't fly out of your hook. Because once the ball is in the hook, if you go too fast, sometimes the ball tends to jump out while you're going and making the turn. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get the ball in the hook. And then once you make the turn, you're gonna cross your arms. So you see my hands are about this far apart. And then at the last moment, I'm gonna turn and turn my body and the my arms are going to be crossed like this. So that's the end position. And what you want to do is you don't want to go too fast or too low to let the ball jump out. So you need to get the right angle of the stick so that the ball stays in the hook and we can go and leave it there. So the last thing and the last advice I want to give you is that when you deliver the ball to your teammate, the ball really needs to be sitting down and laying still. If the ball is rolling, it makes it more difficult for your teammate to pick it up and drag flick it on goal. So when you get to your final position, try and really continue your move so that the ball stays still. And then all you need to do is just lift your stick and then your teammate comes along and takes it away. As you can see, my end position is completely turned 180 degrees from when I started. That also allows me to kind of shield the runner. Once he, he's on speed and he's coming past me, I can shield it a little bit without uh, making it the dangerous play. So one thing that's very important when delivering the turn is that the delivery is about one meter left of where you start. So if I start here with the ball, that means that my delivery point needs to be about one stick length to the left. So about a meter to the left, otherwise it doesn't make a difference for the runner. So you want to get out of the line of the runner. So if I start here, I want to end about one meter to the left. As you can see, I started there. That's about the line I'm going. Then my teammate comes along and he should have a free shot. So if you're not the one doing the turn, but you're, you're the one that's eventually gonna drag flick the ball, in training, try and discuss with your teammate where the ball is gonna end up. If you talk to each other and say, okay, the ball's gonna end up there, then in the game, I know I can stay quite close to my teammate and I can actually do as if I'm not involved and I can fake it a little bit. And then once the turn comes, I can jump in. And the trick is to make the pickup of the ball as soon as the ball arrives. So the ball is going around. Once it arrives, that's when you want to pick it up and then release the drag flick on goal. All right, for all you hockey players out there that like to do something extra special, um, here's a little extra element that you can add to the turn. If you think the defense are onto you uh, and they're trying, gonna try and call the, the turn, you can add an extra spin, keep the ball yourself and drag flick. So your first move is the same. You put the ball here, then the defense think, oh, here comes the turn. And then instead of letting your teammate flick the ball, you continue your spin 360 degrees. And from here, you can drag flick on goal.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you did. Leave a comment if you want to see stuff. And uh, don't forget, if you're doing drag flicks, don't do too many per day because it can be quite hard on the body. See you next week. Bye.